Hi, I'm Jim Hackett with Steelcase. And uh, if you've never heard of Steelcase, I should point out that we are the world's largest furniture provider. Uh, we have ideas that support education, uh, healthcare settings. So we're really proud of the evolution of the company. And in its life, it, it got to know the people at IDO really well. IDO has been a huge inspiration to how we've transformed our company. And in the course of getting to know them, I learned of a new idea they had called Open IDO. We decided together that we'd love to attack a big question, a big problem, which really centers around um, a very uh, personal experience for people here in Michigan. Uh, Steelcase headquarters is on the west side of the state of Michigan, but inside our state, when you think of Michigan, we have the city of Detroit, and Detroit is a city that represents one of the largest industries that ever was invented, the auto industry. But it's also noted for a huge change in a very negative way. The city used to support somewhere north of two and a half million people in its uh, height. And today, there's maybe 300,000 residents. But the, the geography, the footprint, so to speak, that supported the three million is still the same one that supports the 300,000. And because that's a mismatch, it's pockmarked. And it's pockmarked with very ugly and bl blighted areas I sit in a group of business leaders for the state of Michigan, that's CEOs that run companies that are headquartered here, and we've begun to believe that the revitalization of Michigan uh, involves an important task to try and find a way to revitalize Detroit. You'd be surprised at the number of times where I begin talking about the state of Michigan, where people will ask, we would love to help, Jim, can you connect us? Well, today, the, I want to ask you to connect through Open IDO because the goal here is to take your collective wisdom and your inspiration and link it with this problem. And the problem, simply put, is we want to re revitalize the urban setting. It, it is a future of three things that I can see. One is it's the source of community. We know from our own research that communities are the soul of of uh, not only uh, a town, but a country. And for it to feel together, to pull together, it has to be together. So, so we want you to, to give us ideas about what makes community strong. The second thing is the future has to be on economic performance. You have to create jobs, and you have to create opportunities for people. They will move to that. Well, where can those opportunities come from in the urban settings? Where are, they may be in places right now, okay, tell us about them, but we're looking for new ideas as well. Um, the third thing is, uh, I have a particular interest, and I'd love to ask you to think about this, is that place and time matter in the, in the sense that this is Detroit, and this is in Michigan, and it's on Eastern Standard Time, but in another way, it doesn't matter. The fact is that it has to relate to a system around the world that's running you know, 24-7. So how can the communities of the future stay linked and coupled um, so that they're, you know, relevant and important in what's going on around the rest of the world? So how does the fuel that comes from the ideas here actually inspire others? And vice versa, cities in the center of Russia or parts of Eastern Europe or emergent in Asia uh, that are coming together need to be connected as well? Well, we, we want to know more from you about how that network actually performs in the future to solve complex problems that make each one of those cities really vibrant. So I appreciate a chance to share these thoughts with you, and I can promise you this. If we can get at this problem, um, it's going to be a wonderful world.